Welcome. <coughs> welcome. I think I'm going to name this video as Welcome to Conscious Nonsense. Uh, yeah. And conscious sense. <laughs> I want to go on from the uh, a previous video. Um, I think it was titled "Your Pure Consciousness." And it ended, it ended with um, a moving on, when you're complete, you're, you're complete, you're, com you're finished. Everything you have been set out to do in this earth, in this world, in this bodies, has been complete. And there's nothing else for you to know and nothing else for you to not know. You are finished with non-understanding and understanding. And the balance of knowing that either understanding and non-understanding and knowing and unknowing and finalizing and unfinalizing is your is the answer. So you you, you are no path if you understand. You are in no path. You neither understand nor you do nor, nor do you not understand. So in no time do you go up one path, come back, and then up the other. I understand today. No, I don't understand. I understand tomorrow. So you are not on either path because none of these exist. Understanding does not exist, and non-understanding does not exist. We are now in a realm of complete madness, complete illogic, complete demoralizing to the mind the mind is now finished the mind is now redundant your body is redundant this world everything that you are living in today is redundant it is gone it is not holding you back it is not holding you here I want to come back I want to experience I want to I want to remain here with my family there's nothing to hold you back There's no mind saying, yes, but what if? Maybe it if it was bet yeah, or I I could I could show you no nothing. Nothing can pull you from this this spot. This spot. And this spot is infinite emptiness, infinite space, infinite travel, infinite happenings, comings, goings, infinite. This space is you. You are the emptiness. You are pure consciousness in this space. This emptiness, when you say, I'm com there's a completion, I can move on. Where can you move within emptiness? But you can move within emptiness. And the moving will happen on its own. There's no person, no ego, no mind to say, Let's move over there. It's like you jump off a cliff and you don't know what's at the bottom. But you trust that you're going to land safely. We all have these dreams at night where we're falling and falling and we don't know what we're going to fall into. And there's a like a, a hope that it's nice soft cushions. And when this hope arrives in a dream, it happens. Oh, wow. That was so scary. But it's, I mean, I'm still alive in the dream. Oh my God, I've been saved by this soft cushions. We've all had that dream. Dreams are important. Dreams are giving away a real insight. Everything that happens in your life is an insight towards finding this completion. It's maybe not your time. Don't worry, switch it off, go, meditate, do yoga, do reiki, read books, go, enjoy, 
be in this world. This completion is only for this part of consciousness. I am a part of this pure consciousness. That's all I am. Not the body, not the mind, but the body and the mind. Everything is collectively all-inclusive. There's nothing can escape pure consciousness. All this world of imaginations and fantasies and dreams and pretense forms and pretense formlessness and pretense ideas and moving is not happening. We're safe, 100% safe from this world. But if you do not experience this safety, this cushions, whilst awake in a body, then you will come back and feel unsafe, unsure, unsteady. I need to know more. The biggest mistake you can say, you need to know nothing. Need to know more and need to know nothing are exactly the same. They are ideas. I need to know more. I need to know nothing. So when I say you need to know nothing, it's because you've ex exceeded your limit of knowing more. And you need to taste nothing to realize that you're neither and if you have spent many lives as a monk i need to know nothing i need to know nothing you're in the same dilemma you need to know more there's no half measures when you come into a body there's no half measures to say it's all going to be bliss it's all going to be happy 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 we're all Randomly moving from knowing to unknowing, knowing to unknowing, knowing to unknowing. In the classroom, 10 out of 10, John, well done. Tomorrow, you're just having a bad day, John. Perfect. He doesn't know. Yesterday, he knew. Today, nothing. So this moving on, this emptiness, this completion, this complete, complete acceptance that it's over. It's over. I, oh, I'm wondering if even one, one being is watching this and understanding it. I'm so hoping to meet someone someone who is alive and experienced this need this over the need is over the need to know and the need not to know this is pure reality this moving on this emptiness this pure consciousness is your true nature it's your true nature i am my true nature i am not special in fact i am really 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 unspecial i will only find the specialness when even the moving on is over true nature not your true beginning not your true source I witnessed the beginning that day I was special that moment specialness came in now I have said goodbye to the beginning thank you I know why now why I am in this body now I can move on, away from beginning, further 
on. Further in, same thing. The circle of life. There's nothing happening. There's no movement. There's nothing stable. Everything that you say, whether logical, illogical, or opposite, contradictory, everything that we say, every word that we say, every word that has ever been said, every vowel, every feeling, every experience is the same. Everything is the same. Everything means the same. But it's all experienced differently. For your own learning. For your own individual learning. If I could say this, it's like if there is this big creative force, this absolute, this God figure that is behind all this, if there is, it is like we're all his school, his pupils, and we've all been given this task. And the answer is the same, but we have all been given different questions, different bodies, different times, different colours, different sexes, different instructions, different manuals, different guides, different angels, different, the whole learning package in the bag is Anna. Now go and come back. And we all return with exactly the same answer. And when you give the answer, you can move on your next test. This first test in our human time world took billions of years billions of years so when you think oh, my body leaves I'm going to die you are you're deluded even death is part of the test many deaths Many births in a body may be part of your original test. And this may not be the first test. Maybe many has came before. So when people say you're on this earth for 60 to 100 years, I can't even raise a smile. But inside, it's like the whole world is laughing at this statement. The whole world, the whole universe is <laughs> if only. But it sounds very egoic. But I don't really mind. Because ego does not exist. Mind does not exist. And I do not exist. <laughs> Go in peace. Namaste.